Hello people of the internet, welcome back. Uh, in this video I'm going to be talking about something very brave. <laughs> I did, it's not that brave. Um, just so you know, first of all, I've just finished all my exams for university and I'm now back home. Um, I need to make a video at some point about the weird people I was in a flat with last year because that, that, is, a, that is a whole video of content in itself. Um, but I'm going to be talking about something that I did that was very brave. Um, I asked for a sign language interpreter next year. Um, so if, any, if this is the first video of mine that you've ever seen, I'm deaf. Um, I lost my hearing as an adult and I've got a cochlear implant, which is why I don't sound deaf, but I am. And I've been learning British Sign Language as part of my university degree, I'm studying modern languages and I'm studying Spanish and British Sign Language, but a lot of my modules are in English, so I will be, yeah, a lot of my modules are in English, so I've got a lot of like um, cultural modules and that sort of thing, so I've asked this year to have, for next year to have an interpreter, and that's very brave for me because I feel like I'm inconveniencing people whenever I ask for anything. Um, but in case you're watching this and you there's something that you feel like you need from your university or your school or something but you're too scared to ask because you feel like you're being an inconvenience or like there are other people out there that need it more than you um, yeah just ask for it it's it's hard to it's hard to explain like why I find it that hard. I think because I'm on the autistic spectrum as well, I just feel like everything I do is socially wrong. But um, yeah, it's absolutely fine to advocate for yourself. It's actually really important. So yeah, if you need to email someone and ask for a sign language interpreter, do it. The way I did it was um, my university has a disability advisory service at the university and they already like know me um, because um, I've spoken to them before when starting the university about my hearing loss and um, my autism and they've put a lot of um, things in place. My university has been really good about it. So I emailed them and just said what do I need to do in order to get a sign language interpreter because I think that would really benefit me next year. And um, she emailed me back and told me who I need to email and my like case reference number or something that I needed to put on the email. So I emailed them. They then emailed me back and said there were a few more pieces of information that they needed. The thing that kind of makes me feel like I'm being a massive hassle is um, in order they have to get the funding for it through the government and they said that the Student Finance England people would ask why a radio aid wasn't enough and I had to, uh, and I have to provide a reason why what they're already doing isn't enough which makes me feel like I'm so ungrateful but all I needed to do was write oh I still find it really hard in group conversations which is true like I'm not I'm not lying I do find it very hard in group conversations and um, for example with a radio aid it's just like a microphone that the lecturer wears and the lecturer will be wearing the microphone and then for example they'll ask a qu um, someone will go and ask a question and I won't hear that question and they normally ask too quick for me to figure out who's actually talking and then I then the lecturer answers the question but I don't know what the question was so I kind of have to guess the question from the answer so I do miss quite a lot from that so and group discussions when it's a group of people it's trying to pass a microphone around it just doesn't work and it makes other people feel very awkward um so i thought like i'll ask for an interpreter i've been thinking about it for a few months already um but it's taken me several months to build up the confidence to actually ask so um yeah in case you were thinking that this might be something that you need to ask your university for something please do it um it's not that hard. No one said anything. No one, no one said anything to me, and there's no harm in asking. The worst that can happen is they'll say no. Um, yeah, they're not going to think you're a horrible person for asking. Um, yeah.
that's that's it thank you for watching watch watching me you're watching me uh bye